Hey folks, Chef Jay, and this is Lake the Plate with my co-host from the Ivory Coast. It's a nice place to visit. Torn Burganini. That was not smooth. That's that was pretty smooth because I wanted to carry the er. Because oh. you're always er. Yeah? Pew. So, on today's show, we're going back to walleye. You know how I feel about walleye, right? Oh, uh, you know, we got to, as I always say, we got to play to the audience. You're absolutely right. Here in northwestern Ontario and probably all across Canada, the most common fish is walleye, as I like to call it, Walter. As Moosey likes to call it, Walter Ann. No, Moosey's a pickerel man. Well, I know, but, like, it would have to be Walter Ann because then they would be a couple, right? Walter, yeah. no, anyways. So, uh, look at this Moosey's thing. Moosey's got his eyes for Lucy. Check the size of that. Now that is a big walleye. Okay, folks, so today we're going to show you how to use the really big walleye if you're catching them and you're keeping them and you don't know what to do with them or you think they don't taste like fish. No. Or they taste too fishy. There you go. We're going to show you ways, two ways, how to make it not taste fishy. No but here's fishy the real about it. Question. I'm going to hold this up for a little bit. But here's the real question. Why do people say it tastes fishy? I mean, what would you prefer they say? It tastes bad? But it is fish. Yeah, but you don't want a fishy fish. Well, it is fish, though. Right? So if I bite into a chicken, do I want it to taste like chickeny? Well, I don't want it to taste like Because you never hear anybody say that, do you? No, not chicken. I'm having chicken, and it tastes pretty chickeny. So that's the, uh, that's the educational piece to the show is that uh, a lot of people don't understand uh, the flavors of freshwater fish, correct? Well, they don't understand how to cook it either. And they don't understand how to cook it and they overcook it or they undercook it or uh, they just throw the fish back that they, they don't think that they can use, right? They're like the good eaters, <coughs> as they say. So this is a beautiful walleye fillet. So, folks, this is already skinned and ribbed. Now what we're going to do is take the Y bone out. Can you uh, see that? Uh, you're giving the a very Just nice massaging massage. it, all right? Just massaging it. You know why you got to massage it, eh? Okay, well, so this piece right here is a beautiful piece of meat, right? But it's full of bones. bones. But you could keep this piece and add it to your soup stock. You're correct. Oh. Today? No. Okay, so we're going to do the bacon wrapped. So that's what we're, what are we doing on the show today? Oh, we haven't even gotten into that. Jeez, you jumped me right on the gun, eh? Okay, so we're doing bacon wrapped walleye bites tossed in maple syrup. Ooh. Very beautiful. And we're doing walleye fingers with a super salad made with ca cala? No cala. cabbage. With cala. Kale. And I that's the French pronunciation. <laughs> oh, la cala. Hey, that's not bad, actually. Pinky out when you say it, though. Oh, la cala. And uh, we're going to use, uh, we're going to make another vinaigrette. We like the vinaigrettes here on the show. We're going to use uh, mixed seasonal berry vinaigrette with peppers, onions, jalapenos, tomatoes, cilantro. It's going to be a super salad, yeah? Super indeed. Super salad. Okay, so what you want to do here for your, so get your bacon, whatever kind of bacon you want. We've got peppered bacon here, but you can get thick bacon, thin bacon, all kinds of bacon. And all you want to do, so what this is a... What about bacon? You could. Take female bacon. If you wanted to shave it, you could. So uh, that's going to be for a finger. Because <laughs> it resembles a finger, no? <laughs> Cut it in half actually would be. So there's, now a, it's a finger. there's a finger. Okay, so you want to just make chunks. Perhaps that big. So think like scallop, bacon wrap scallops. You ever have them? Yeah, freshwater scallops. That's it. Fresh what's the other one? You ever have uh, water chestnuts? Kind of water stuff. chestnuts and bacon? Yeah. So this is a, a nice creative way to use two, four, six. Six pieces, those are fingers. We're going to turn that into fingers, okay? How many fingers is too many fingers? Four fingers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, two. I hear four is pushing them. Okay, so you're going to cut your bacon in half. You're going to take your walleye. And you're gonna wrap it. Wrap it. Wrap it. That's not very good, eh? No. Okay. Then you're gonna take your finest bamboo stick. Remember your toothpick. Over here at HQ, we have the finest of bamboo. Sometimes you gotta improvise. That's right. Okay. Then all you wanna do is make sure that the end is held together. 
just like that. How beautiful is that? Take another piece. This is a beautiful appetizer, eh? Oh, it's so easy. <clears throat> so easy to make. Great for any time of year. I, I can't imagine you couldn't please anyone with a uh, bacon wrap. Well, wallet. the other thing is, is you can do this with all our underutil underutilized species too, right? You could have northern pike. You could have mullet. You could have tulipy. You could have perch. You could have crappie. Whitefish. You could have whitefish. Lingcod. You could have lingcod. How do you know about lingcod? Ah, I've seen one before. Have you? Okay, so beautiful. Look, look at like. Then you're gonna set your deep fryer up at 355. These are going in the deep fryer. If you don't want to use the deep fryer, you don't have to. You can bake them over here at uh, HQ. Oh, we've only got so much time on the show. Only right? so much time on the show, but everything in the deep fryer is healthy. Better. Oh, not healthy. Why, why haven't you mentioned anything about my uh, your weight loss? My weight loss. Do you feel slim? I feel slim in this jacket. You know what? This is a real toned down jacket for you. What's the occasion? It's a toned down look in general. You know, backwards. Well, hat, you know what? I, you know what I think eh, is that uh, when I'm using the underutilized, undervalued, unappreciated species, I have to step it up a notch so that people can recognize that we have the finest fish in the lake, right? Oh, so I for feel walleye, with walleye, you can tone it down. Got to tone it down a bit with walleye, right? Okay. So what you want to do? There it is, Torn. Look. Can, did you get? Let's see. Let's get a nice close up. Look at that. Just beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Bacon wrapped walleye bites. Like I said, get your deep fryer set up at. So simple, anyone can do it. Anybody can. You do don't it. have to be a chef. 350. Just put them in. It's gonna do the work for you. We like to keep it simple around here. Keep it simple, stupid. Shot of that. I got a nice view. little shot of that. Beautiful bacon. It's starting to crisp up. We're just gonna let that sit in there. Now we're gonna move into the fingers. Take two eggs. We're doing it the two way. Just the simple twosome. The simple twosome. We got a nice bread in here that I created. It smells like gold. So we got some panko in there, we got some dill in there, we got some garlic in there. A little less than pea. Less than pea. Oh boy, those are nice. Okay, then you're gonna just take into the famous du roar. Du roar. Oh yeah, no trouble finding the right utensil this time. Nope. No cheese grain. <laughs> I like to add a little bit of water. Just a little. Just a little bit of water. Wow. Wow. Okay, then you're gonna just take your fingers. This is walleye, just cut them into fingers. Into the egg. How big do you like your fingers? Oh, it depends how big you want them, right? Here's some fingers. Mix up your fish into the crumbs. This is so easy, but so good, light, can go on anything. Kids love this stuff, right? Not everyone loves walleye. Yeah. Okay, these are done. Oh boy, that one hopped right out. Are you in the splash zone, Chef? I was in the splash zone. So there it is. Look at that. Bacon wrapped walleye bites. Phenomenal? Beautiful. Wait, we're gonna do something else with those in a second. I just want them to do a little bit of cooking. Okay, we're in our breading. It's a nice toss, yeah. The key, folks, to doing a good toss is how you use your arm, right? So when you're flipping it, it's gotta come back to you. See? No mess about it. No fuss, no muss, no bones about it, right? Into the deep fryer. 
We're keeping it healthy on this. We're episode. keeping it healthy on this one, you know, since I am on a diet, we're keeping it healthy. But that's why we're mixing up with the super salad. Super salad. Speaking of the super salad, we should probably clean up a little bit, eh? Yeah, you know, clean it up. So, uh, what's your take on walleye anyway? You know, I'm a personally big walleye fan. I feel, so you, I feel did, you can't go wrong. So, did you fish a lot when you were a kid? Uh, I had a lot of bad boat experiences. You know, I once went in Vermilion Bay with my grandfather and my father. So we're out on the lake, you know, Corner Lake, very close to here. And the middle of the lake, the engine caught fire. That's so, not good. Well, those are the kind of experiences I had fishing. Okay, so you don't fish. Very good. Okay, folks, this here. Look, at, what is this? That is a superfood. This is a bouquet of flowers for you. Oh, thank you, Chef. I, I really appreciate that. It's very nice, isn't There's it? There's not a lot of flower, though. It's mostly leaf. What are you talking about? It's very nice. No? Why don't you Anyways, they, Moosey, used to they, use, they never used to use this, eh? No. People used to just think that this was garbage. In the last little while, the, the, the kale has come out a long way, hasn't it? Yes, it's a superfood. Very healthy. <coughs> very leafy. So, yeah, so I like to just pull... You don't eat that stem, chef? No. And then it's just a rough chop. Rough chop. In it goes. Beautiful. We're going to take yellow. Ah, let's go yellow. Nice color on the yellow. Well, it is a summer salad. It is a super salad, right? Nothing quite as super as yellow. Nope. And you know me, we're going chunky on this one. Well, you like your chunks. Um, let me put your uh, bouquet of flowers over here. Uh, I'll, I'll come for that later. Yes, that, that's very nice of you. To uh, I'm just going to leave it right there for you. Okay. I'm going to put this in here. Clean this up a little bit, yeah? Oh, you're taking my flowers and putting them in the salad. Well, that's, a, you know, a little flowers. A little there. lover squirrel over here. There we like go. The plate. There we go. Okay. Nice and chunky. Use whatever you want to use. Use whatever you're using in your garden, growing in your garden. Then we're going to use some tomato. Everything's chunky in this one, Torn. All chunks about it. All chunks about it. Then we're going to use some onion. Chunks of onion. A little less chunky. No, this is pretty chunky. And then we're going to use some jalapeno. Add a little kick. Chunky too. You know what they say. The women like a chunky man. <laughs> well, you know you're a good chef when. Look at that. So, there's the beautiful. Walleye fingers, aren't they beautiful? We got our walleye fingers, we got our walleye our bites. Walleye bites. We got our salad going on here. Okay, now we have to. You know me, I love the dressings, eh? Oh, it's all about a dressing with the salad. In goes the seasonal fruit. Picked fresh this morning. Yeah, actually, this came right out of our garden, actually. How did you know? Ah, you know, I just had a feeling, you know. It's good okay. strawberry season. It is strawberry season. Did you ever pick strawberries as a child, like as a job? Uh, not as a job, oh. but I did go raid some gardens in my day. Strawberry gardens? <laughs> okay, so you're going to put a little bit of garlic in there, a little salt and pepper, S&P. Right? Then we're going to take the red wine vinegar. Wouldn't be a vinaigrette without a little vinegar. You can use whatever kind of vinegar you want. You can use grape vinegar. You can use white wine vinegar. You can use regular vinegar. What about malt vinegar? You can use malt vinegar. You can use rice vinegar. You can use whatever kind of vinegar you want. You can use <coughs> a little bit of oil. What about homemade wine that sat so long it's turned to vinegar? And we're going to use this little secret uh, thing here. Is it honey? Is the secret honey? Hey, honey. Some honey. You talking to me or Moosey? Moosey. A little bit of honey in here. Wow, that is some sweet honey, isn't it? 
sweet honey. Okay. Then on to the old magic bullet, eh? The blitz. The blitz. Blitz her down. So folks, you want to get it nice and smooth. Can you hear me? What? Okay, <laughs> that's a vinaigrette. Nice and smooth. What does it taste like is a question. Berry-like. Vinegar-like. Honey-like. Is it berry good? Berry delicious. Okay, a little bit of... Uh, berry delightful. Berry delightful. A little bit of dressing in here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take some cilantro. I'm going to take some cilantro. M make sure you make that face when you pull your cilantro too because yeah. it's just not the same if you don't. You were really pulling hard at that cilantro. Well, you got to. It's like you were pulling it straight from the ground. <laughs> right? Okay. And it goes. The super salad. Every last little bit of cilantro. And it goes. Can't miss a leaf. But look how beautiful this salad is. Look how nice the vinaigrette comes out. Nice. It's a beautiful vinaigrette. It's nice very, very it. spring-like, eh? Since it is springtime, correct? We are in spring. Here we go. Okay, let's move uh, Mr. Walter into the fridge. We can leave him for later. Mr. Walter. We're going to use this guy here. We're going to use this guy here. We're going to make this. Do you mind if I make the plate look pretentious? Uh, I'm more upset that you're peeling my uh, flour. <laughs> okay, I'm just adding a little garnish. See, it's not that pretentious, right? No, it's pretty, it's pretty mild. Okay, salad. That's beautiful. That's a nice salad, chef. Simple, easy, chunky salad. That's nice health to all of this deep fried fish. Yes. There we go. When you feel guilty about frying all your fish, have a nice healthy salad. Then you take your fingers. Are we missing something on the bites? I'm not done that one yet. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself, am I? Yes, getting ahead of yourself. Okay, there's the fingers. Then what we're going to do take some maple syrup. Here's some nice maple syrup. Can't go wrong with a little thick Can't maple syrup. So all you want to do is put a little bit on. Nice sweet flavor. Goes well yeah. with bacon, goes well goes with good fish. Goes good with the bacon, goes good with the fish. Give it a little toss. Look how nice the fish holds together. But you know what's phenomenal? What's is that? look how beautiful this appetizer is. It's nice and crispy, sweet. Like that is beautiful. <coughs> Then we're gonna take a little bit of pea. And there we have it. A large walleye that you can catch that some people say are fishy. We just showed you how to turn it into two amazing appetizers, right? Super salad with walleye fingers and walleye bites wrapped up in bacon, tossed in maple syrup. Sound good? Sounds delicious. Till next week. Bye-bye.